Hey, people, what's up? Maddie D, IDB, where we help you achieve emotional, financial, and physical well being, and also your relationship coach when it comes to your parents. So, this video here is about uh, what to do with, uh, I want to say, not an alcoholic, but the, for those of you who live with or have parents who are the adult, who are the adult child of an, uh, of an alcoholic. And um, I, I have personal experience with this one, so I can definitely speak well about this one um, for a long time because my own mother. Um, is the adult child or adult stepchild of an alcoholic because her stepfather years ago was an alcoholic and her mother, my grandmother, sided with him, defended him a lot of times when she shouldn't have. She should, she should have um, defended my mother and come to her, but she didn't do that. So my mom, along with other, other issues she's had, has grown up with this negative influence that's impacted her. She did, good, she did go to therapy but stopped and there's issues and things that that continue to this day of how she has, um, I don't say I don't say she's raised us in, in, in any negative way, but as we got older, problems came about. So my dad uh, divorced, had to go because she has bad relationships. And the thing about it is that why well, I didn't realize this, I found I just and I just found this out like within this past year about my mom having grown up with an alcoholic stepfather, and how it's affected her, and how how she acts now has affected me and my sister. So, the biggest thing that I can say right now, because this is the honest truth, I just learned this, and this is why it makes sense why I've had so many issues with her down the road, is, or down the road, or I mean in the past and to this day, is that when you're dealing with an adult child of an alcoholic, there's a pattern that we all get involved. We all pattern with, with, with everything with everything we do. And if you have any issues with your mom or mom or dad, there's a certain pattern that goes on that you're not aware of. It's become a habit and it's unconscious that you're going to have to take time to sit there with pen and paper and go, what happens? What leads to me feeling like X, Y, and Z? What's the pattern that happens? I did it with my own mother and um, I figured it out. I want to figure it out, but I became aware of it. My dad helped me. I talked on, I talked on the phone and what the way it started for me was this, like, what's the default emotion I go to? whenever I have conflict with my mother. And for me, it's anger because I was hurt by her actions. And then what happens is this. This might be a long video to you, by the way, but you need to hear it, you need to watch it. But what happened is this. With my mother, what would happen was, we all sort of feel like, pretty much when, you, when, when my sister and I are on good terms with her, or actually what my mom does, she likes to play us against the other one. Like she's mad at one child, she'll talk to the other child and let them like, and then ask them for all this help but ignore the other one, but then as soon as she gets in a fight with the other one, cuts them off and then talks to the other child. It's stupid and childish as shit. As shit. But anyways, I'm digressing. The pattern here is this, that I figured out, was it'd be all good, and what my sister and I have learned that with my mother, you, we've, we've enabled her. We've been enabling her for so long that we have to be these obedient children, even though I'll be 32, a couple months, my sister just turned 28, who, my mom can control and she feels that we respect her when we do what she says and doesn't don't question or argue with her unlike the dumbest things it's so stupid so we did be this thing so basically we it's like it's like walking eggshells and having to be this image this thing that, that for me it's not true for me i cannot do that i cannot be this 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 slave where she expects me to, to do everything and not talk back i'm like i have a life like no it's the way it works anymore like, you gotta let go so then what happens is we do that, but then the fight that happens. And what she's done with me is we're going to fight. And she, just everyone, I'll win a fight. I'll calm down. I'll forgive her. I'll apologize for my actions. And with her, it's not like that. She doesn't forgive. I don't think, I don't think my mom's ever acknowledged any apologies for her since I was like 12. I am kid you not. So she doesn't acknowledge anything. And in this point, I'm on this hurtful path for to redemption where I have to show her I'm different, show her that I care, and show her that I'm not some dis di some disrespectful son or child, where I have to constantly be the one to reach out first, always say sorry, do this and show up, to show her that I'm this that, that I'm not some terrible person. When I've learned when I've learned like when once I get over something and I, and I said I'm sorry, I moved on, I moved on. And she's still there but wants me to do these things. So anyway, this pattern happens. So road to redemption. Then when I think it's done, it's not, she doesn't talk to me. She won't tell me anything. I found my sister what their plans are. Then again, I always have, I always have to ask like permission, like, "Hey, it's okay if I come see you for Mother's Day for your plans? Is that okay?" And it's like, why should I have to ask? I'm your son. Like, what did I do? 
but it keeps happening, and this happens again. And then, then from there, what what I end up feeling is anger, hurt, you know, resentment, sadness, and it's like, why do they keep going through the same pattern over and over again? Then I get angry, and then from there, I'm like, screw this. I'm not gonna do this. I'm gonna show her, and I still try and change her, which is stupid. Doesn't work. And then to show her and, and think, man, maybe I should cut her off. Then I guess we'll talk at some point and things go back to where they were, where it was, where things were, you know, okay. But but I ha- but, it, but what ends up happening is that I am having to be, having to do things the way she wants it, even though it costs me happiness. It costs me my happiness, my health, and my sanity, just to please her, to show her, oh, I'm your son, you know. And it's like ridiculous. And then it starts over again. Then I end up being resentful and still trying to be there, and I'm like not wanting to do anything, not gonna call her because I'm doing something that doesn't work for me. That's not who I am. That's not my truth. It doesn't work for me. My sister does does does, does it differently, but she's hated too. So then what happens is this. So I realized that, realized that's her pattern, and I was like, holy shit! At the end of the day, this whole pattern is costing me resentment. I am not wanting to do anything, anger, and hurt. And who wins? Nobody wins. My mom doesn't win because in this, what does she do? She only talks to me if I do things her way, the way she wants it, even if that means it costs me my happiness, my health, and I become unhappy and resentful over time. Is that something I should stay in? Would you do that? No. And you're going to realize that when you do this, you're going to be like, oh my God, this pattern is fucking me up. So what do you do? You become aware of it. You can't change something until you become aware of it. So I become aware of it, and I decided to do things different. I'm going to still talk to my mother. I'll still love her, and I'll get over my issues and forgive her. I will. I am going to an Al Anon meeting because I need to do that because my dad suggested it. Not not because we problems with alcohol, but because my mother had an issue with some guy who did, and it's still affecting her this day, and affects my relationship with her and my sister, and everyone and everyone else around here. Okay, so I have done this, and we. Um, I'm going to one soon. Um, at the time, at the time, at the time that I record this, it will be tomorrow. But everyone knows the pattern, and I decided to be like, you know what? I'm going to do this the way that works for me. Not to change her because the other thing I've learned, I've, I have to accept that if she doesn't want to talk to me, that's fine. That is okay. I need I need to look out for who I am and maintain my happiness, my sanity. And that's what you got to do for yourself too. So I realized, you know what? I'm going to do me. I'm going to be happy. And I will talk to my mom. I'm going to reach out to her. I'll help her. But on the way that works best for me. I'm not going to do it the way she wants it because... As you can see, if you watch the video over again, that path, that doesn't work. It's bullshit. No, no, nothing wins. Nothing gets resolved, ever. So, and when I did that, once I made a decision, I'm like, I feel happier. I'm like letting go, knowing that I don't have to do this whole reaching out to you multiple times, always being the bigger person when you, why you just stay low and act like you're 16. No. And I've also accepted and realized that because I'm doing this now, She'll probably see as being disrespectful and doesn't realize her pattern. And she doesn't want to change, and that's okay too. Because guess what? At the end of the day, so long as I know what I'm doing works for me and I'm happy, healthy, and there's no resentment, that's what matters. My mom can be angry. That's what she's gonna do, and that's fine. Because at the end of the day, she hurts herself, not me. I'm not cutting her off, which is why for me it's like I always feel like, man, why is it always, why is it always so good just to want to cut her off? Here's why: because I need to do it my way. If you're watching this video, I hope you got a lot of value. Hope it's helped, helped you out with something, you know. Figure out the pattern, because when you do, you're gonna it's gonna feel so liberating, and then you then you know how to how to respond and decide inside what you're gonna do, because it's your life. Your parents are jacked up, and you're goddamn thing you need to change them. You can change yourself. You can work on yourself and decide to go about them in a way that works best for you. And if they don't like it, then too bad. It's your health. It's your happiness at stake here, not theirs. You can still love them from a distance. So, thanks for watching all the way through. Gone long, long video. Like this video, comment, got some value, and look, I can coach you on this, give some of the resources. I was it coaching. So look, do free consultation. Hit me up. Number below is in the description. Get in the black. Peace.